Ty Bartellin with another edition of Coach's Corner. This time I'm joined by the head skipper over there at Liberty, the head ball coach, LaVon Lamb of the Leopards. Coach, how are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Ty? Oh, I'm not doing too bad myself, Coach. I'm curious with practices right now. This is where I always like to start with a lot of the coaches because we're gearing up for the season. December 1st is right around the corner. A lot of teams have practices. A lot of teams have scrimmages under their belt now. Some are just starting. Obviously, it's different for everyone. But for you and your Leopards, we're, what are practices looking like? Um, they're going pretty good right now. We're doing a lot of new stuff. Um, as you know, you know we lost um, two or three good key players from our team last year. Um, we're starting out pretty young. Um pretty much um, new. So um, we were doing a lot of just um, hammer fundamentals, um, a lot of shooting, a lot of dribbling, um, just a lot of the, the the fundamental stuff that you need just when you have a, a brand new team and you need to you know incorporate those things first before you can move on and advance to everything else. Obviously, too, with a young team, there's a, there's a little bit of give and take, right? Yeah, you don't know exactly what you're going to get on the floor, but neither does your competition either. So it always uh, it always has a little bit of an excitement swirling around it. Coach, I want to get a chance to actually go in depth and get a chance to meet some of these guys on this team. I know maybe the roster isn't finalized yet. We don't know all the spots, but who are some of these big impact players or some names we can expect to see out of the Leopards this year? Um, right now, we were, um, you know, leaning on um, – Two of our returners who did actually see some varsity time last year, which was um, Darimani Franklin and Evan Bates. Um, Darimani Franklin, unfortunately, uh, plays football for us as well. He um, suffered an injury, and um, he's out for the first couple of weeks of the season. We're looking um, forward to getting him back here soon. Um, Evan Bates is um, a guy that's a scorer. Um, we look to him as one of our leaders. Um, he's actually played, been in um, – some tough games for us and um we're just looking for him to come out help us with the young guys get them on board with um our style of play and some things that we do and uh you know just to get those guys going for us i can expect the first half of the season first 11-ish games or so you want really want to get these guys feet wet too and obviously with the postseason tournament everyone makes it anyway too so you're competing for for conference crowns you're competing for mm -hmm. things like that but you're also trying to develop your team for that second season what do you? What are some of the early goals in like that first half of the season that you want to see from these these younger guys and trying to get them developed uh, at the varsity level? Oh well, you know, first of all, we look at just how they handle it. Um, we have a lot of freshmen this year that's going to be playing um, at the varsity level for us, and I know it's a different it's a different level, different type of speed. Um, so we're just you know looking to see how they handle the first couple of games, um, how they handle the crowds. Um, how to handle just the fast pace of the game and how, you know, the, just the difference from eighth grade to the varsity level. Um, also, we're just looking at and just hoping that they get better um, every night. I mean, you know, you want to go out and win and you want to, you know, every game, but we, we want to just, our goal initially is for them just to go out and just to compete. Um, we can compete, um, you know, give our chance, to, you know, give us a chance every night or every game night to go out and possibly win the game. That's a good thing. But I'm also, um, looking at you know we're also looking to see them get better and progress every night as we go out and play the thing about this conference too it gives you that opportunity to get better each and every game because mm -hmm. i mean there's no nights off in this mvac gray side from your perspective from a head coach perspective what do you see out of the conference this year what kind of competition is it going to give you um I, I think the conference is wide open um i you know it, it's not you know you you can't never i never go in trying to say it's this team or that team uh, we always know who, you know, the heavy hitters are. Um, we just kind of look at everybody the same and try to approach every game the same. Uh, we just try to go in and just get as much, you know, scouting information and, and information on the team. And we go in as prepared as we can and just trying to put, you know, the the the, the, the guys on the floor that we feel that's, that's going to help us be successful. Um, you got to come and play every night, um, even at home. You know, you got to come out and play every night. It's not just, you know, it's not as a given that you're going to win on your home floor either. So, um, we just try to, you know, put them in the best position that we can, um, you know, like I said, via scouting um, information, player personnel information. And then um, we just hope that we just come out and compete every night and just give our give our, our ourselves a chance to win and come out, you know, victorious at the end of the night. 
You guys pair the tough conference with a pretty nice non-conference schedule, I'll say, as well. And you guys are going a little bit everywhere, too. I mean, you got teams from Akron. You got teams from down in Columbiana, too, in the non-conference. What do you like out of this non-conference? Are there any kind of challenges you're excited to uh, to present your boys with? Uh, I think they're all challenges. Um, that was one of the things I wanted to do with us being such a young team. I wanted to give them that um, – that different look of just not, you know, just not playing all local teams. I wanted to get on and play some teams that we normally don't play just to give us a different look to kind of, you know, prepare them and get ready for what we'll see, you know, in our conference down the line, you know, going into the playoffs. Cause you know, you never really know who you're going to play until you, you know, to that, um, the draws at the end of the season. And then also, um, we wanted to go on the road a little bit to get those guys that experience of learning how to play and playing in that type of atmosphere. Um, you know, hearing the crowds, hearing the other student sections chant and, and, and cheer and say things. And um, that was one of the things we looked at. We wanted to kind of uh, get them prepared early um, just for that challenge. So that was one of the things we did. I always respect the the respect and admiration your boys always look at you with too year in and year out and you can you can see it from the sidelines you can see it from a from the announcer's perspective as well coach so I think you're doing a great job over there in my my personal opinion what keeps you coming back year in and year out for this program what keeps the what keeps the love what keeps the drive going for you to keep coming back and giving back to this community and this school system uh, I, it's just the passion for the game I mean you know my story never changes you know, just to go out and play and um, at the level that I played in high school and then be able to go and play at the, you know, Division One level. And uh, my coaches always instilled in us, you know what I mean, when you have a chance to come back and give back, that's what you do. And that's that's always been um, a, a, a passion for me. Um, I'm thankful that I ended up at Liberty. Um, I have a good group of uh, coaches that I have. Um, my staff, um, they, you know, they're behind me. We're all on the same page. We're on one accord. Um, and the players, I mean, you know, it's it's difficult sometimes as a coach when you go in and you want to um, kind of instill your passion and your, you know, your desire on uh, a group of young men. But it's, you know, when they don't, you know, I mean, you got to try to try, try to find other avenues to try to get the best out of them. And I just like how they just um, they look up to us. They listen to us. Um, they kind of, um, they, they're, they're, you know, they're engaged in a process and I just, you know, I just like, you know, where we at, what we're doing. Um, it's always about progression and moving, you know, moving, getting better and moving, moving on and moving forward. And, um, we have that here at Liberty. I mean, I have a good group of kids. They all, they, you know, they're around each other all the time. They all play the sports. They, they hang out around with each other. They like each other, they like being around each other. So, um, I think we're in a good, you know, it's a good spot and a good situation over there um, at Liberty. I love that Liberty community too. They're they're the definition of gritty too, and they uh, mm-hmm. they they always love supporting winners and they love supporting mm-hmm. their kids no matter what. Coach, I also you mentioned your staff a little bit, and I want to give you a, t- a chance to kind of go a little bit in depth because I know you can't do it on your own. I know building a program it takes a group of people and a concerted effort to do so. What's that staff look like this year for the Leopards you were mentioning? Um, I have all my coaches returning. Um, Darren Johnson, which is my um, head first assistant, head JV coach. Uh, Damian Daniels is my first assistant. And um, this year, for the first time in a few years, we're actually going to have a freshman team. And uh, my freshman coach is Andrew Starr. Um, I, 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 I liked our, um, our coaching staff. All of us played high school basketball. Some of us got to play at the next level. Uh, we have a lot of experience, a lot of uh, expertise in basketball, and that's what I like. You know what I mean? Any one of the kids can actually go to any of us to get, you know, uh, to ask questions, to get, you know, additional details or insight into the game because we played it, we've been there, and we know it. Um, Damon and Damon and Coach Damon and Coach Darren Johnson, they've been with me um, the whole time I've been there. Um, Damon. Um, the first two year, first year started out at the uh, as my eighth grade coach. Um, we were able to move him up the year after that. Um, he's been there for the you know last four years. Coach uh, Darren Johnson has been there from the beginning with me um, from day one. So we've been there together five years. Um, coach Starr, um, he was running my the fifth and sixth grade program. Um, an opportunity came up, and I was able to move him up to my freshman coach. Um, these guys are very knowledgeable. Um, they have a passion for the game, just like me. They watch basketball. They study basketball. And um, I, I couldn't have a better staff. 
that you guys have I love that you guys have basketball guys that love this sport want to be a part of it too and and guys that also care about the the community and the the program as well and I think that consistency at the top is always crucial for uh for success long-term success and building a program no doubt you talk about you talk about all that though you talk about uh you talk about the staff that you put together and just everyone you got helping you out this year and obviously it's going to be it's going to be fun once again having that but building this basketball and getting kids interested. And after the COVID year, it felt like basketball kind of took a hit, right? It took some hit in numbers and everything. So I'm glad to hear you guys have a freshman uh, team again. What is it like just creating and generating that interest, engaging that interest of, of young kids to continue playing that sport after the middle, middle school level and, and come out and try at the high school level? I mean, it just takes a, just a, a show of us going down there and just showing support. Um, just being down there with the, you know, meeting the kids, going down there. We go down to practices. Uh, we invite them over to our practices when they're not practicing. Um, game days, home game days, we let them come back with us in the locker room, see our pregame routines. Uh, we let them shoot around with the guys when they can pregame, you know, before the team that we're playing arrives at the school. So we try to just combine all the programs. So it's just like one big happy family. They know us. We know them. All our coaches, um, you know, from seventh grade on up um, are connected. Um, we talk daily. Um, we're always, you know, um, pulling at each other's mindset, you know, for basketball and things that we can do in different situations. So I, I think it's, it's like you said, it's more of a, it's more, more feels like, like a family thing. Like I just, I just enjoy uh, my coaching staff. And um, like I said, I couldn't have, you know, I feel I couldn't have picked a better staff. Um, everybody is very knowledgeable. And then just dealing with the kids, I think just seeing um, how we're connected like that and, you know, what we're doing and, and some of the things that we're accomplishing, I think that helps. But um, secondly, I just think just going out and just talking to them and just giving them ideas of like how we, we you know, the, the direction we want the program to go and how they can help us in the future. And um, just, you know, just being around and seeing what we do, I think that helps a lot, too. I'm excited to see basketball out of this conference. I'm excited to see you guys play, too. We here at uh, YSN, we're certainly rooting for the Leopards this year. Coach, yeah. before I... Before I let you go, though, I got to give you one more question, and it's kind of been a theme I've, I've asked all head coaches uh, this year, and it goes back to that love of the game. And you might be a fun one to talk to about this because I know you have that love. You have that passion. It's what got us started in the sport, right? It's what keeps us coming back each and every year. It's because mm-hmm. we love the game, right? No matter mm-hmm. what our position, what, what our role is in the game each and every year. Where did that love of the sport of basketball start for you? Do you have an earliest memory or a pinpoint moment where you remember falling in love with the sport? Ooh, um. You know, I, I started playing in the seventh grade, um, and I think actually the term for me was when um, I start actually learning the game and I start being able to do some of the things that, that my initial coaches wanted me to do, um, scoring, um, blocking shots, and then, you know, rebounding and doing some things. And then I think it, it just it took another turn for me when – I see how well I can do those things and how I could um, help our team and benefit our team by me getting better and doing those things to help our team win. And then I think once we got on the roll of just winning, it just got, you know, it just, it got fun. And then I just fell in love and I just, I just didn't want to, you know, put it down. I wanted to be around it all, all day long. I wanted to play it every chance I got. And like, you know, some of the, you know, NBA players and you hear some of these other guys and college players say just in the lab, I just was always playing, always had a basketball every chance I got, I played. So it was an early on um, love, but I really, really loved it when I got to high school and was able to play and then getting better and then, um, you know, advancing my um, basketball IQ, my mind, and then just seeing the things I was able to do. And then once, you know, you get better, then, you know, your name kind of get out there. And then when coaches start coming to recruit you and look at you, and then they tell you how good you are and how you can help their program. And, you know, you start looking at yourself and it was like, I, you know, I really can do, you know, I'm really doing this. Like I really do this. So it was an early love. Then I had like a second level love, if you want to call it, once I got to high school and then all of the success we had there. Um, and then after that, man, just being able to get to college, being recruited, um, you know, to be a D1 athlete is just, you know, awesome in itself. But being able to go and play at that level, it just, man, it just took it to another level, if you can say it that way. And I just, man, all my passion is, that, man, if you know me, if you've been around me, man, I love the game. I said I study it. I watch it. I constantly talk about it, you know, and I just I just love the game. And, like, I just I'm just 
there. It's just my passion is just so high. And I just like to see the success of kids when we, you know, we touch them and we're around them, we're coaching them. And they're, um, you know, they're getting what we're trying to co coach and teach. And then to see the success in their eyes once the light bulb goes off. And that's that's what's really keeping me coming back, just the passion for the game and the love of the game. It's it's a brotherhood and sisterhood that connects us all, man. It's it's mm -hmm. the love that we all have and share for this game that keeps us coming back every year. Coach, I'm so excited again for this year. I, I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck. We're rooting for you here on the network, and we can't wait to have some more uh, Liberty Hoops on uh, on YSN once again this year. All right. Yeah, thank you, Todd. Yeah, have a good rest of your day. You as well, Coach. This has been a first, first edition of Coach's Corner with the head ball coach at Liberty.